I don't normally leave a disclaimer on my pieces, but I did want to at least explain myself a little bit better. I'm not the best at painting. I've been spending a lot of my time improving my drawing, but it doesn't mean that I don't love painting. I still think it's fun and I like to handle it. It's just, it's something that I enjoy. A lot of times when I have an idea for a painting, half the time it works and then half the time it doesn't. What I had in view for that painting didn't come out. It didn't get interpreted at all. And that's kind of the case with this one. I still had fun. I still enjoyed the process. But when I stepped back and looked at the painting, I was like, ah, that, that, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I had in my head. It didn't turn out the way that I wanted. So part of me is kind of like, oh, I don't really like it. And when I don't like something, I usually feel like I've failed in the matter. There's no such thing as a failed piece of artwork. There was a part of me that didn't even want to post this painting. There was a part of me that didn't even want other people to see that I had failed. I had made something that I didn't really care for. But just because I don't like it, it doesn't mean someone out there doesn't. And just because it's failed in my head, it doesn't mean that it is a failed piece. It's still pretty fun. It's still good. There's still parts of it that I like. There's still a learning process that I have achieved through it. Regardless if it's something where, oh, look at this beast that I didn't really do that well on, or oh, look at this prized possession, I love it. For me, it's a learning process to say, you know what, it doesn't matter how I feel about the piece. I need to show the fact that I am learning. I need to show the fact that I am still improving myself, regardless of any of my own personal feelings. So that's why I decided I actually am going to share it with you guys. So thanks for watching my video today, guys. It always makes me smile to see that you are on these art adventures with me. If you want to continue having art adventures, go ahead and click the subscribe button, like my videos, comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you want to see more of my actual pieces, doodles, and things that happen during the week, click the link in the description, then I'll take you right to my Facebook page, and you can see things unveil as they happen. This is Rachel Selk, signing out.